So we will set the tone for day number two. With the Clearwater Invitational first pitch. She has two hits thus far. Got her fifth strikeout. Schoonover sits her down. But also that rise ball can't spin unless it's going quick. 21st pitch of the inning. That one sits down to Holtorf. Back-to-back strikeouts. Yeah, Kentucky has already greased their wheels here in Clearwater, but they all, Washington had an opportunity to scout them yesterday. Ball out into play, out into right field, ranging back to the track. The grab made by Johnson. Senior from Corona, California, 400 hitter. Eighth pitch of the at-bat. Full count. Doe is to second. The batter, Borzaleri, thought she had earned the walk, called a strike makes a difference and so far has already gotten the strikeout off of it. So you get the first pitch, Carissa Hamilton on the ground to second. A lot of offensive production that Washington is losing to two pitches. Hit hard, that out to left, going back to the track and over our first run, first home run of the day. It's been the story of the Invitational, the long ball. Sydney Stewart makes the first run for the Huskies in Florida. That was an absolute smash. What a huge swing on a pitch that was just left way too big over the plate. Sydney Stewart has big power, and there she showcases it. Huge swing, left heart of the plate, and absolutely unleashes on it. Inside pitch, belt high. You can expect that one to see you later. Hutchins has stepped in and become one of those impact freshmen for Kentucky. Nelson ready. Chance to turn two for Washington and they get it. Some defense behind Nelson for the Huskies. So those two working together to settle her in and get those big swings back. A 2-1 ball is out to left and another home run for the Huskies. Salise. Makes it a 2-0 contest. And that's the Jillian Solis they have been waiting for. She had just six home runs last year, but there is a ton of pop in her bat. That swing looks so sweet. Outside pitch and able to go oppo. Nice line drive swing. I love the way that she did not try to elevate this pitch. Great home runs are the product of a really good swing with good timing. And there, an away pitch, she waits on it and gets her first home run of the season. Has a ton of tools in her tool belt. Puts that one on the ground. It bounces off the glove of Fiedler over at third. One career home run behind Kiki Malloy at Tennessee. Runners going for second. Diving in is Smith safely. Yeah, checking the chin there as she watches the pitch in. This ball rocketed down the third baseline. Being waved home is Smith will score. Off the bat, another RBI for one of the best to do it for Kentucky, Koffel. She's not going to get pitched up in the zone with hittable pitches very often. So she's going to have to take advantage of opportunities low in the zone. This pitch down and in drives that ball so hard down the line. Fiedler does not even have an opportunity to glove it up pre-conference schedule. Yeah, you, you should definitely have and keep your status. Because you have to adjust your swing plane to hit those pitches. Rolls over on that one, does Nelson, and shoots it in the gap just past Koffel to get on base. She's had international experience, too, as she is a pitcher on the Italian national team. Schoonover, 88 pitches, 50 for strikes, 21 foul balls. Is the first one cut on by Fiedler. Rounding Nelson for a hold at third for Washington. Up the middle, will score a run. The runner is safe over at first, so Nelson makes it 3-1. Kentucky had to deal with the situation here. And over into second is Carter. The in play glances off the glove of Tobias, so one run in, second run in the speedy Carter as Solis builds on the lead for Washington. 
Well, Lacatena has not thrown many pitches, and Washington is absolutely unloading. They are taking the ball, hitting it into the ground, making the defense work for Kentucky. This ball hit right back up the middle. Diving play by Tobias over there at second, but can't rein it in. And with so much speed on the bases for Washington, they're basically on a merry-go-round. Eighth pitch of the at-bat to come. All four. Get that in the ballpark. Ball into the dirt, runner goes. Hardy with the three runs, trying to make it more. Previously in the game, there Lakatena was the pitcher of note before Vickers entered. You have the umpire behind you. Then you have to manage runners if they're on the base passes. One is here. The throw is to home. Patience prevails, ball four. Then giving way to Vickers, who will try to get out of this fifth. Out into center field, just past Nesby. That will be more runs for Washington. Two more, in fact, sliding in safely to third with two outs, Hobson. And when you have a hitter like Hobson, who is running through pitches. You know that she's just trying to make contact, but with the outfield pulled in, it takes away their ability to gain ground laterally. With that lack of lateral movement. Three, two, another full count pitch. This one laced to short. Out there in foul territory. 11th pitch of the at bat and a Positive start for Kentucky. To be able to face a tough Pac-12 or SEC schedule, but to be able to make sure that that RPI number stays high. One of your big voices, one of your big leaders as well. This ball back up the middle to Malin flips over to first for the out. Yeah! Led by Piper Ritter in Minnesota, another Big Ten team. Out into center field, glove just under by Carter. The throw to second. Hard hit, least to the left side. Fifth inning that just got away from him. Yeah, it was something that I had asked you is this one. Hard hit, another gapper. Two runners on after the 40th foul ball off the Washington bat. Is down low the strikeout. 0 yes. 2, Malin, Washington, one strike away. One out away, this goes over to the left. That ball laced in, so Koffel with Smith on in front of her. Into the sky, into the glove, over at third or out number three.